We are here again on YouTube at Worcester Guitar Centre. It's a lovely day today. Uh, you're here again with Ben and Josh, and today we're reviewing Twin Stomp English handmade. They might be handmade. They might not be handmade. Um, pedals, which are these lovely looking things right here. This one's not plugged in because we've got two of these. Um, and you're playing through that lovely. What is it? What What is that thing? This is a Greco Zematis. Um, so it's a, a it's great fancy note. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Zamatis, the old company. Uh, I think it's Tony Zamatis used to make them. Um, the, with the metal carved fronts or or hand etched. It's really but nice. This man. one's uh, this one's obviously not metal. But then, is that mahogany as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, this one uh, is obviously not metal front. But then Greco took over the license, the Japanese company Greco, and so they make them in Japan now. And this is absolutely cracking. This one is. Um, we have been playing with this all day, don't we? It sounds yeah. lovely. I like the switch on it, to be fair. That's, uh, it's, uh, that's subtle. I, I, I quite like it. I like, really like the inlay work I do. Uh, and, and the fact that this, you know, isn't, um, this isn't just like a, an inlay round here. It's actually uh, etched, isn't it? It's, well, what, what, what it is, it's... It's not even a top, is it? It, it is, it's two tops. Two tops! It's two, and then they, and they, they, they bevel it across, so you just see the one that's beneath. It's cool, poking man. out around the edge. It's just a cool little, neat little bit, and it looks really nice. We've only um, uh, we've, there's actually only one in this shop, isn't there? I think there's only a couple in the UK. Less than five, no or fewer than five, rather, in the UK. Well, let's hear um, one of five. Well, yeah, it sounds a bit like. <laughs> today for the the kind of humbucker because uh, we wanted to we wanted to sort of do like a, a bit of a, a sort of different didn't we I'm gonna keep this here actually because there's an interesting thing about the finishes on these pedals that we're gonna have a little chat about we've also got your lovely hello we've also got your 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 beautiful Telecaster yeah um, we're gonna use this for the single chord kind of so that you get like, a different sort of feel of whatever guitar you've got um, how it's gonna sound either humbucker or single chord how it's gonna sound through these pedals um, we're playing through a Mesa Boogie today, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a 1989, I think, Mesa Boogie Mark III. Uh, White snake, eat your heart out. And uh, just for clean sounds and some driven sound, yeah. uh, the amp's got its onboard reverb on, uh, and that's about it. Yeah. So a bit more about these pedals then, because we are, we are actually doing pedals today, yeah. rather than guitars, which is what we usually do. It's a bit different for us. Um, I use pedals, you use pedals, Everybody uses pedals, pretty much. Um, these are really nice. They're all twin stomps, so they've got two switches either side. And we've got today the overdrive. Yeah. The OD boost, which is your overdrive boost. Um, and then just your sort of standard DB booster, which is just going to give you a bit more either clean or lead. So which one do you want to start with? Which one do you want to demo first for us? Let's go straight boost, I think. Straight boost. That'll probably be the best thing to do. So if we take a clean, yeah, if we take the clean, maybe a little bit of middle, both pickups on, volumes up. Is your bass tone? So little, it, tiny little bit of gain, just just breaking up, just the amp breaking up a little bit when you hit it hard. We've got both boosts set up at two different volumes. Yeah. So we've got one at full whack. And we've got one at half. But even if you even if you let this this first one, even if you pull that down to nothing, it's still a boost, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Maybe two dB. There's on. no uh, there's no unity gain setting on no. there. So whatever you have it on, it's going to be boosting your le uh, your 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 signal. It's going to be boosting anything, isn't it? Yeah. Really? So go through, Josh. Put it on. this channel to this big old we've got it full boost haven't we maxed so, out maxed out boost nice. that sounded really 
cool though. Um, so the nice thing about these pedals is, as well, which is, you, you've just seen there, is this is your channel selector. So there's your channel selector and that's your on off. So if you wanted to kind of, if you can see in this, if you wanted to just kind of put it on there, we've got that little dim light. So that's just telling us that it's, it's, yeah. it's off. But as soon as you press that button there, rather than that selecting the line or the, the, the pedal, it's actually turning that one on, as you can see right now. So if I press that on off again, that's gonna come off. And then obviously we can line select it with it off, which is quite cool. I like that about these. Um, going back to this, we've got this kind of, this brushed alloy which is these ones here. And we've got the premium here, which is the uh, slightly more expensive. It depends how fancy you want your pedal board to look. Uh, if it was me, I'm stepping on this all day long. I don't want to show anything, but you know. Well, what do you think? Unless you want it to looks use fancy. It, uh, I don't know, unless you want to use it as a bit of a, a dodgy mirror. I don't, <laughs> I don't see much point uh, well, in, in, you, in having it. You don't want to be looking at yourself, man. No, so. just. They work, it's about the sound, isn't it? It's it about is what about they the sound. sound like, to be fair, what they sound like and how easy are they are to use. And they sound great. They sound so great. I wouldn't care what the ca case could no. be like. As long There's as a it's £30 pound difference as well, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, yeah. I think, I think this, this overdrive's one th one six five, mm. but then if you wanted it in this fancy mirror, it's one nine five. so an extra 30 quid, which is quite a bit, really, for just a bit of brush. I could polish that over for you if you want me to be. Yeah, yeah. If you want to buy one, I'll polish it. Yeah, drop me a text on. I'm not going to text you. I'm going to WhatsApp you, man. I'll buff out. <laughs> Get right. Brasso on there. Moving swiftly on. Yeah. Overdrive boost. Let's do that one. So it's the same sort of thing as this boost again. Uh, we've got overdrive, just standard sort of channel overdrive. Yeah. So let's pop that on. So this is your overdrive. And it, as you can see, we've got the settings here. Basically all at 12 o'clock. And I've just put the boost slightly up. Just yeah. to really give you a good feel of, 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 of that boost. So everything's at 12 o'clock. Uh, go for it. Okay. Sounds really kind of booty. I think it's... Yeah, it's just really nice to have um, have the tone shaping as well, because obviously the, the amp sounds good, and boosted, the amp sounds you good. You can't really go wrong with the message. Yeah, yeah. Though, but it's nice 1980 to, Mark III. It's nice to, to be able to, you know, you've got, uh, you've got, yeah, so you've got drive and and, and other uh, level, level and a tone. And a tone. So you can shape it a little bit, which is quite so nice. So if you, I suppose, you'd sort of set the level sort of, 12 o'clock and then use that boost as just a little bit extra. So yeah, what is what is the use for a boost? If people are thinking, well, you're going on about this boost, but what, what is the use for a boost? Well, it's, it's Cheeky. It's, Rookie uh, error. Well, it's, for val it's for valve amps, isn't it? So yeah. the, the more you slam the valves, the, um, the more they're going to overdrive, the more they're going to compress. And yeah. so it sounds pretty, pretty pointless if you've got a solid state amp. Yeah. But then I think if you're looking to spend nearly 200 quid on a pedal, you, you're not really going to have a solid state amp. And if, if no. you have, spend 200 quid on a new amp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're not going to get a decent valve amp for 200 quid, though. No. Ish. I don't know. I've Maybe. Epiphone Valve Junior. That's great. It's yeah. a great amp. It's a great amp. Anyway. One down there. There is one down there. It's mine, man. It is. It's yours <laughs> as well. Uh, let's boost it, then. So this is the Overdrive Boost. OD Boost. On the boost. Yeah, you can hear that yeah. start to compress more in the amp, yeah. start to hit the front end of the amp more, and maybe take that that drive sound to more of a, a you know a higher gain classic rock lead sound. Yeah. It's still quite toppy um, because of the way the amp's set. Yeah. It's got a lot of cut to it, but it's you know, maybe a, yeah, 
They not, sound really, not your really out and out really. saturated lead, but that that would I mean, be that's, good. That's quite a high output guitar anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is fairly. Yeah, yeah. But that's why we've got your Telecaster here. Yeah. So that we can uh, we can show you the both of them. So this one is uh, this one's great. The overdrive pedal. You've got two. It's like having well, it's a twin stop, so it's like having two pedals. So you can set the same sort of overdrive sound at two different levels, which is great. So as you can see here, we've got this one set just all at twelves. And this one just set, this one's at uh, three o'clock right here. I'm just gonna bump the tone up a little bit as well. Just so that we've got, this one's quite midi anyway, we're playing with it this morning. It's a bit more we? upper mid aggress uh, aggression. You know, it's a bit like that kind of cliche, vintage, yeah. modern, from yeah. what I can hear. When they were both set at the same. And it's that same kind of line select again, as you can see that those those traffic lights are going off there, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's so, a cool idea, that is. I, I think, think that's yeah. a great idea. I didn't, I didn't realise they were set up like that until we started yeah, using so them. It's, it, there's nothing yeah, going can, on. But so you can line select internally and then turn on whichever yeah. half you want, which is cool. Real clever. Real clever. Yeah. Good old English. Up the British. Yeah. <laughs> up the Queen. Not up the Queen, but up the Queen. <laughs> Go for it. Right. <laughs> Lot that's lower a great gain. overdrive, isn't it? A lot lower gain, a lot darker. Mm. I mean, that's a re that's same settings, both volume, bo um, both volumes up, both Middle pickups pick up. on. Yeah. So if we go to the bridge, that's still quite dark, but. <laughs> So this is number two then. So we've we've set this like I said before. We set it a little bit more, a little bit more tone, um, a little bit more gain, a little bit more drive. Yeah. So. And that wants to. That's lovely. Yeah. That one wants to pinch a little bit more. You can get. So it's it's quite nice because if you're if you've just got one pedal, if you've just got one overdrive pedal, you spent 165 quid on this overdrive pedal. Um, technically, you've got like a rhythm and lead, if you like. Yeah, yeah. You could kind of set it up as a rhythm and lead, which is quite nice. So this is the only pedal really that 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 you're going to need, I suppose, unless you want a really high distorted gain, dirty. Filth. But that's getting pretty. That is getting. You know, that's getting should there. And you've got to remember, if you if you turn that off, should we turn that all the way up? Yeah. Let's well, and if, level up a if you turn it off as well before before you do that on. Yeah. The amp is. The amp is pretty clean. Yeah. You know, there's a bit of gain in the amp, but. A little bit. It is slamming. It's just slamming into a you know a valve amp and. So the amount of, like, obviously with this boogie, you've got a, a line selector as well. So you've got a rhythm and lead on here anyway. Most valve amps, most amps will come with, with a rhythm and lead section. Uh, unless you're going for like an AC30 or AC15 or yeah. something like that where you have it. But we're not in that ballpark at the moment. We're in the Mesa Boogie ballpark. But, you know, to be able to get, you could have the, the amp completely clean. Yeah. And still get high-ish or medium-high. Well, this is a full, let's, you know, yeah, a real yeah. kind of Marshall boutique -y kind of real... It's just, I'm, this is going to sound great. Oh, there's me. Okay, that just still, seems, isn't it? It's still tight. It's still, it's kind of real 70s, 80s rock, isn't Do it? Do some lead on it you as know, well. Yeah. <laughs> Versatility of sound, and they're just it's quite it's tight. So that good. sound, that sounds ace. That does that, that. That sounds like you've got a cranked old yeah. school amp, yeah, completely with you know that. That's kind of your your Marshall Tube Screamer esque from yeah, an amp that's on two to conversation level, yeah, you know. We are having a conversation, aren't we? Yeah, let's um, Thanks let's quickly buzz through them all with um, with your telly, yeah, with a single coil telly 70s. 
Um, and then I want you to sum them up in one word for me. Are you going to buy one? I might, I might actually get the... Um, uh, would you get one of these? It would either be... Yeah. That was, I think I would. Yeah. I mean, have you seen Snatch? Yeah. Yeah, it's like heavy as reliable. <laughs> heavy as They're not that heavy, though. I mean, I've had a, I've had a Line 6... Um, I had a Line 6 chorus pedal. But Don't wait, ask me why. They're weighty enough chorus to be reliable, you know. Yeah. Like, My Line 6 chorus yeah. pedal was just... It was like a tank. I mean, I don't know what gauge steel it is, but it's proper... Stainless steel. Yeah, but what, what thickness it is. And it's proper proper, proper job. I it mean, is. it's not going to crack or break no. or bend. You're going to stand on that till the yeah. cows come home. Yeah, yeah. Explain this a bit to me as well. That, oh, that's a pretty this cool This is wicked, idea. isn't it? If you ever get... It doesn't even get in the way. You, you don't even notice it. You don't have to have a fiddly bit on the bottom, first of all. If, you've, if, you're, if you're running your pedals on a pedal board, which most people are... Um, you don't have to take the pedal off and then worry about putting Velcro or whatever no. just to change the battery if you're running on, on batteries, mm. first and foremost. So it's here. And second of all, to not have a, a fiddly little door that, that yeah. could break or something. It's just... It is have we got a battery down here? It's actually? just a, a key ring. Let's pull this battery out. This, uh... so Let's it's... show YouTube how you do this. Well, it's just a key ring and a um, cable tie. A cable tie. That's Very clever idea. Up the Brits! And so you pop your battery in like that, and to get your battery out, you just pull it out, pop, do that again. And we're in slow mo. Go on. <laughs> There's a slow mo one. Right. But yeah. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> just goes like that. Looks great. That's a that's a that's a wonderful idea. I'm gonna have a little play with this while you're. Uh... Have you ever seen the film I Love You, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when she's got the hot dog and she's like, what does that do? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, um... Oh, shit, oh no, that's not a lovely that, man. That's, uh, uh, role models. Yeah, that's role models. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that do, man? <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this debauchery. <laughs> um, so, yeah. First of all, let's sweep through them this way with this Telecaster. Obviously, uh, a lot lower. Not a lot lower, but quite considerably more considerably lower than the yeah yeah humbuckers yeah. and you've and been playing with both on different tone as well different yeah. tone so if you're a guitar player with uh, dirty ibanez with emg's sat in it these are going to sound great yeah it's a bit warm in here though isn't it it's a bit warm in here isn't it you'll take your top off I'm just on sure. camera oh god that's a bit better oh that's a bit better oh you're oh. you're, you're, you're that's a bit better. I feel a bit, feel a bit cooler now. Oh, oh so that's <laughs> yeah, you. All right then. <laughs> um, enough of that. Right, overdrive. <laughs> yeah. Go. <laughs> That's just channel, no, that's channel, 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 channel two. Yeah. So that's that's pretty that one cool. Off. I, sound like, I think that sounded great. That was bridge pickup with a Telecaster as well, with all the tone on. Yeah, uh, none of the tone rolled off. No. That's very similar. Well, that in fact, that's the same overdrive, isn't it? As as the pedal before. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah. Um, so the difference between those two, obviously, that one's got an overdrive and a channel two. So you've got two two overdrives. Twin overdrive, isn't it? And yeah. that one, yeah, twin overdrive. Um, and that one's just your overdrive and then your boost. Yeah. So and then that one is just a boost. So we've got overdrive, middle ground, and a boost. So yeah, boost that up. <laughs> Tell you what, while you're playing, I'm gonna boost this. Okay. I'm gonna boost this for the first boost first.
So, we've listened to them all. They all sound great. I love them. I think they're great. You're going to buy one. So you've got, obviously, your, uh, your lovely brushed chrome ones, mm. which are the less expensive ones. All the premium ones, if you want your pedal board to look fancy. Um, some, some of these pedals have been one word for me. Boutique. Boutique. Yeah. Good bit of thinking there as well. Yeah. I like yeah. it. On the fly as well. On the fly. Completely so on the fly. Hand me that guitar back then. Let's pop him down, yeah, shall what? we? So until next time, Worcester Guitar Centre, we are here again. My name is Ben and this is Josh. Uh, cheers for liking the stuff and mm. subscribe to the channel and everything. Drop us some comments. Um, but most importantly, <laughs> keep it real.